All right, hello everyone. It's Mystic Juicer back with some more Yomi action. This time it is round three of Lum's Lucky Lottery tournament that Mystic Deadman has hosted, where you only choose random uh, as your character. And uh, after every round, whoever loses, it's first to four uh, sets, and uh, whoever loses gets to choose either to re random themselves or re random their opponent. That is the only way that you can switch characters. So you cannot counterpick in the traditional sense. And we're starting off with some Gwen, we, Gwen v. Gwen. Uh, we've got kind of an awkward hand to start off with. I'm gonna try to use my patented uh, block three times before doing a single thing uh, Gwen approach. Uh, but this is gonna be dicey. Uh, just aggressive general characters in general, except for Satsuki, uh, I do not really have much experience playing with. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll probably see that happen. <laughs> well, I get hit with a three, immediately face down. I figure that is pretty free as Gwen. Why not try to imply? Uh, I'm kind of worried about getting hit with big combos right off the bat. We get three, four, five, so he is going to pick up a single ace. Uh, very strong combo ender for Gwen. Uh, we still don't really have a straight, uh, so I'm tempted just to block again. Play the two instead. Counter poke this three. Don't draw into anything particularly powerful. Uh, could go two, three, king, something, something, five, six. Uh, or we could just let this stand. Yeah, okay. Pull the joker, build a bit of a hand. We didn't really have a great combo after that anyway. Uh, so I'm not too mad about seeing it disappear. We've got three, four, five, six now. So we could do king into that. That's a much more satisfying combo. Pick up some more aces on our way. So that is that is the most likely play for me. Yeah. Instead we get blocked. Uh, could discard something in the four, but again that pretty much puts us back into our first turn hand where we don't really have anything to play at all, so rather not do that. So the name of the game now is do I, you know, which one of us is feeling scared and will block or dodge? Uh, who's feeling gutsy and is going to throw and who's going to duff that throw attempt? Very, very high risk situations throughout this set or throughout this game, uh, in this matchup in particular, just because uh, any wrong answer, like any combat loss on a throw is going to be hugely punishing. Uh, and, and likewise, any combat, uh, well, combat loss on, a, on an attack can also be really, really punishing as well um, because her kings will undercut anything that isn't her queen um, or an ace, I suppose, single ace will uh, will be pretty good as a spacing tool, as I think the kings are 1.2 speed, uh, so they would tie and uh, trades definitely strongly in the uh, the single ace favor. I'm gonna go ahead and toss the five because I've got the duplicate there. Don't really want to fetch aces; just want to cash in some additional damage. I don't want to power up all those eights because then the only throw I've got is Dash Gorger or the nine throw, which neither of which I feel particularly good about. But we're fairly even on cards and health. He's tried to throw twice in a row. So this Jack, I think, is very, very unlikely to win. There we go. Yeah, 1.2 speed. So single ace was the play there if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to be fairly safe. I'm gonna try to bluff again, because again, I'm gonna fill up to 13 cards on this next turn, so throwing away a nine is not all that bad. The nine's not really doing anything for me. Utrala hitting me with some big combos, not pumping the burn barrow, uh, because honestly, why? Eight additional damage, yeah, put me at 22, but again, it would empty his hand a little bit more maybe than he's comfortable with. This way he remains at 12 cards. Uh, which is a pretty good card total to be at. Uh, with two aces known in his hand, I've got to start worrying about dodge into Dash Gorger. Uh, the fact that I faced down there and didn't have the Joker 
uh, is a pretty strong indicator that I don't actually have it. Yep, gets the gets the dodge off, and that's going to further further make me think. Yeah, okay, you've got you've got triple aces in hand. So I want him not to dodge into it. Uh, if he plays it raw, though, uh, the jack is a good is a good call. Instead, get hit with uh, his queen. Life totals shrinking rapidly. Luckily, he used a joker fairly early on. Uh, I should, yeah, I should power up the threes at least to get uh, Ace Ace as a finisher or as an ender, I should say. Uh, but this is looking very, very difficult. Uh, opening two is pretty good, but again, I've got to contend with just dodge into Dash Gorger. And uh, instead, he hits me with the, the raw Dash Gorger. Very gutsy play from Utrala there, catching me with the. Uh, Queen into super throw for lethal. Uh, Dash Gorger also plays around um, plays around me having drawn a Joker. Again, we're halfway through the deck. It's not unlikely. Yeah, exactly. So not an incorrect play. Still got ten cards in hand. Surely he can uh, be pretty safe. So I'm gonna leave him on Gwen. I will uh, switch my own characters. Uh, again, not a character I'm very comfortable with, and I'm a character I'm I'm fairly comfortable playing against, especially with Grave. So this is going to go very differently. Um, we open with a queen in hand, which is nice. Um, I'm not too worried about blocking first turn here. Uh, because Gwen, typically, if she's going to throw, unless she throws into nothing, I think she actually usually comes out behind. On first turn throw unless her hand is very particular throw into ace ace is a great opener because uh, it only puts her down one card but again I don't mind this opener and blocking a, an attack first turn is uh, great so no shadow plague I get to play knowing the opponent I can reveal a queen if I want to I'm gonna reveal the five instead so he's got to think about throwing me here. Uh, or he can choose to uh, go with another big opener if he thinks that I'm lying. If he thinks I'm playing honestly, uh, block is very safe. Okay, throws me instead. Take some damage here, but I will draw a card and drawing. So I've got two queens and two aces now. So that's 32 damage that are very, 32 damage that's very likely to connect. Um, Gwen has a lot of trouble dealing with, uh, with Graves Queens. Graves Queens are very strong. Um, and his single ace is, is very, very powerful as well. It, it uh, beats everything except for Gwen's uh, king. Yeah, we'll just wake up, uh, wake up Shoryu. Just cash out some damage here. 12 damage uppercuts are pretty sweet. I'm gonna hang on to as many uh, pairs as we can. I'm gonna try to power up for as few. I want to imply, at no stage of the game do I want to imply that I have uh, True Power of Storms, because it's gonna make him more likely to play defensive. Uh, it's unfortunate that I don't have a 10 here, so he is going to heal some, some life back. So being able to counter 10s is really, really nice. Uh, because it uh, does, it, not only does it prevent healing, but it, it will um, deal 5 chip damage essentially, which is pretty good, especially in the late game. I'm going to spend single aces more often than I'm going to spend queens because the queens are uh, important for shutting down uh, his own, uh, Gwen's own uh, queen. So I want to try to hold them for the late game just so I have that guaranteed dominant option. Could go for a throw here, uh, but again, if I get, he's got 12 cards. If he hits me with the jack, I'm in really big trouble. So instead, we'll block this queen, get some nice value out of this. Uh, possibly show him the ace. Although he already knows I have it, so maybe showing him the nine would be a better option. Could 
bait him into playing a throw. But this play does turn my uh, my uh, ace into a normal attack. So it's going to draw me an additional card. I'm at 11 cards. I'm going to continue to have aces. It is all good. And that's even better. So converting 14 damage and then also picking up a uh, queen for my discard. So I've got even more options. I want to try to play that queen as soon as I can. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, that is a rough combat loss. Uh, because he knows I have it, so I want to... Again, I want him to still play an aggressive range, uh, which is difficult to do when you're playing against Grave with uh, 12 cards in hand. But I want him to, play, to continue playing an aggressive range so I can keep punishing him with these really big, uh, efficient, single, you know, uh, card-efficient... Uh, cards or damage efficient cards i should say yeah try to get some dodges to put him on uh, knockdown and then power up those nines maybe so he is now playing what he needs to do against the range that i am playing which is just power up so you continuously have dash gorger in hand and then uh fish for dodges so that you can uh or sorry, uh, dodge a lot so you can, you know, dodge my counter pokes and, you know, hit me for 22. And because you're drawing two cards a turn, very consistently keep doing that. So blocking with the nine, just because I want to hedge against, um, yeah, three reveals, very good. I want to hedge against um, attacks. Uh, I don't want to spend the queens too early, I guess. Yeah, powering up the sixes is absolutely fine. Okay, he's going to confirm that he indeed has three aces. We have three known aces in Utrala's hand now. Oh, maybe not. So it does reveal the fact that he has two jacks in hand. Because he would be unable to power up the jacks if that were not true. Uh, dodging potentially gets us uh, a lot of hit points, like low on a, in, a, in a big way. Uh, he can combo, I think max damage uh, Gwen combo off of throw is 28. Uh, but again, I have not yet spent any jokers. So I can try to imply that I've got those. Um, at this point, probably fine just to power up the third nine to get three aces in hand. Um, it's not doing a terrible amount for us to have it in hand. Uh, I'm going to try to win this game without throwing ever. Because that is very, very risky. And he's still playing a range where that could possibly happen. <clears throat> So no dodges, just in just a little bit incorrectly responding to my range, I think. Trying to play just enough uh, blodge that he will be tempted to go for throws occasionally. So he should have plenty of dodges still in the deck. Don't know offhand how many uh, Gwen has. Okay, we get hit by a 22. But again, we get a lot of aces out of his hand. Let's see if he immediately powers up. Yeah, really no reason to not have powered up for True Power of Storms at this point. Although he is at 23, and he has not powered up for those aces anymore, so the worst he can dodge into is... Uh, Jack plus for 14, and that's not going to do a terrible amount. Uh, especially if he is taking uh, 12 off of these very aggressive throws. At this point, uh, especially with the 10s as backup, I could essentially just play aces and queens for the rest of, for the rest of the game, and uh, I should be able to win. Yeah. 
So he's probably going to dodge into Jack Jack. I'm going to go ahead and face down. Doesn't do a terrible amount. He pretty much has to follow this up. Okay, but he does only follow it up with. Ooh, follows it up wrong side. Unfortunate. Yeah, bit of a misplay there. Should have done the uh, uh, whatever it's called, chains of ice. Slowed me down on this next turn. He would have had an opportunity to threaten a king. Uh, I would have been so all my attacks would have been uh, two speed slower. So even my queen. Uh, 0, 0.0 becomes 2.0 and king undercuts that so that would have been uh, an important play to make so i'm going to go ahead and dodge here get lit up for it uh, not really sure why i'm not playing uh the single ace this puts me at much more risk than i really need to take because again he doesn't have a tremendous amount of damage off of well yeah okay I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look like he's got a ton of damage uh, backing anything up anyway. But uh, still more prudent here, especially with the 10s as backup, um, to just play single ace and queen. Okay, powered up queens means now I just play single ace. He's got only kings left. He's got fairly limited amounts of dodges left. I still have not drawn a joker, uh, which is unfortunate. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Guaranteed single ace. Unless he dodges, he dies. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with the you're welcome before we counter this. <laughs> there we go. Three chip and then his... Uh, his innate will kill him. So luckily we do not lose that game. We go even. <laughs> Bamboozled. Alright, so we get to stick as Grave and um, Utrala will re-random himself. Now we'll see what we get. So happy to have played a little bit of Grave. Uh, I'm not not a character I am tremendously comfortable playing um, against a lot of the cast. Okay, Ujala switches into Troc. This is uh, particularly a, uh, a character I don't play against very often, which is actually kind of surprising. I do not play against a lot of Trocs. I guess since I play Troc and Onimaru, um, People don't feel that comfortable playing Troc against me. I'm, I'm not sure. So playing block just to uh, see what he will open with. Would like to have a 5 or a 6 in this opening hand. Uh, don't have a tremendous amount of damage. I can make this 2 relatively safe. Uh, luckily we don't have to. Okay, and we do cash that in for 14 damage. Don't really want to hang, hang on to the aces at this point. Uh, don't want to play a slow game. I just want to try to convert as often as I can. Yeah, playing the jacks here uh, is very strong. They do lose to both of his face cards, both his jack and his queen. Uh, but they protect against king and normal throw, and they do a pretty good job against block as well. Okay, we go block, block. Happy about that. Pick up some more queens. Very happy about that. See if we can get another successful block here. Nope, get thrown. Okay, so, so far he has played, uh, you know, block, throw, block, throw. Uh, against Troc, it's just important that anytime you do get a combat win uh, off of an attack or a throw, you are uh, you are cashing out your damage as efficiently as you can. Okay, it goes for the... Yeah. So again, block throw, block throw. He threw last turn. We went for the poke. He blocked. So if the pattern holds, he may go for another throw here. 
Uh, or he could take this opportunity to get his second attached block. That is also a uh, very good play. I've not seen any jacks or queens yet. Okay, so the pattern holds. Block throw, block throw. So next should be block. We pick up a six, which is nice. We now get a normal attack answer to king that doesn't require us to... Uh, Play mental toughness. So this should be a block if the pattern holds. Nope, something much worse. <laughs> something much worse for us. <laughs> All right, we take 10 damage, but again, life totals fairly even. Uh, still don't have much of a great hand. Uh, two kings is pretty good. So we could use that to. Uh, but he has. The, the pattern has kind of broken. Hit us with a jack. So he's starting to put some red cards in his range. Okay, second detached block. Do you have to start worrying about uh, Beast Unleashed at this point? And uh, no Joker yet in sight, so we can't uh, we can't play uh, super super safe. So we have to deal with this mix-up. Uh, can't power up for two power of storms yet. Uh, I think throwing with the 10 is actually far better here rather than throwing with the seven. Okay, counter throw two catches us. Gonna take some damage here. And we are at 44. Just gonna play like a crazy person, apparently. <laughs> uh, I think it makes a lot of sense, uh, him dodging. So he's put us at 44. We're now in lethal range to Beast Unleashed. Gotta be wary of it. <laughs> he hits us with the, with the Psy classic. <laughs> Immediate card uh, played there. Catch another throw. We've got good. We got good damage off of this. We can go uh, throw into five jack, or we can just get knocked down here. Uh, I think that was a check to see what um, what normal attacks I had played so far. Uh, what I want to avoid here is wake up, final, uh, wake up beast unleashed. So I'm just going to play Jack. Yeah, get hit with the queen, but again, that is not that is nine damage rather than forty five. So I'm not too mad about that. So again, we're dealing with known Beast Unleashed. We've got to either poke it out or block his throws or uh, yeah, block his dodges. Okay, so two dodges and then discard and uh, he plays a block. So again, implying that he doesn't have it. We now have a Joker so we can afford to play uh, safer. Um, yeah, queen, I think overall is the best combat reveal here. No reason really to play the threes. We can power those up for aces. Yeah, there we go. Okay, luckily draw another attack. So if we, uh, if we play that ace, we're not completely dead to Beast Unleashed. There's the dodge. I take a second to think about this. Just to make him think maybe we're discarding something, some random card. Got to figure out which one we want to spend. Luckily he immediately goes into Beast Unleashed and we just found the Joker a short while ago so we managed to survive this.
We got immediate power up for single ace. Media power up for another single ace. He's got five. He'll have six cards in hand. So two known aces, four mystery cards. Um, powering up the nines makes sense, I think. Kind of getting low on throws. So that's probably what I'm checking. Uh, but the tens are just as good as the nines as throws in this matchup. Again, he's got the dominant throws for a billion D ranks. So not really worried about that. May hold on to the tens for just a little while longer. Or not. Could value the martial mastery a little bit just because he has such a limited hand size. It's possible he's in an, in an exploitable situation. Although grapplers never really are because they can always play uh, block dodge and very high, high likelihood that they have bl both blocks and dodges. Although at this point, uh, we've got three sixes, three sevens, two eights in the discard. Now, I've still got a lot of twos and threes with block, uh, which have blocks on them. Yep. Okay, very equal life totals. Uh, mostly, I want to not get f accidentally thrown to death. I'm going to dodge here uh, just to see if we can get a, uh, a counterattack going. If he will, if he's willing to spend ace-ace. Okay, martial mastery. Uh, probably discard eh, one of the tens or the six. Yeah, the six doesn't, six doesn't really do much for us since we have single ace to deal with any kings we find. Okay, double ace. We've got a single dodge. We've got a queen, which deals with our single ace. And we do have a king. Um, but, I mean, we kind of know he doesn't have lethal in hand, but he could do, like, attack into ace-ace to be uh, to deal a fair amount of damage. He doesn't really have anything to power up to get that third ace with. Although I don't want to give him an opportunity to block too much. Queen is very safe here, yeah. So queen comes out, deals us nine. We get put to 26. Again, we are not yet dead to ace, ace. Uh, it's unfortunate that I lost that, uh, that I immediately lost to the queen because if he hadn't played the queen last turn, I think I'd have a good opportunity to dodge into true power of storms here. He does not have yet have a joker, which is pretty good. Uh, two attack could be good because I have the 10 to be able to counter his king's ability and then and then go right into true power of storms. No, instead we get blocked out. That was a, yeah, it was really kind of a greedy play. So now we're stuck in a, in a difficult situation. Honestly should have played much more for uh, throws. In retrospect, he's played a pretty conservative range. He's got two attached blocks, one ace in the discard. He could randomly draw into Beast Unleashed, although it is fairly low likelihood. I think he's got like one, he will have had one or two chances since the uh, since I peeked at his hand. Nice, that is a combat win we desperately needed. We've got two, three, four. So revealing the two makes a lot of sense here because uh, it could potentially bait the king. He knows I have the 10 because I just blocked with it, uh, but it honestly doesn't, it doesn't make sense to reveal anything except the two. He doesn't know that we have a face card. Uh, I'm fairly low on throws, so I kind of want to hang on to that uh, seven. Yeah, there we go. Find the king, thankfully. We've got the counter, so this is going to turn into a combat win. We're going to pick up a queen off of this. And then we're going to combo into 3-4. Get ourselves... Oh, we get the 5 as well, so we get two aces for this. Very, very lucky uh, draw off of the normal attack. 
Yeah, puts him at 18. He, we have a known queen and two aces in hand. Uh, we are fairly low on... <laughs> yeah. yeah, very much confirmed lucker. <laughs> We're very low on throws, uh, which he should be able to tell from our uh, from our discard. Uh, throwing with the 10 makes the most sense here. It's what the tourney is based on. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So we're we're playing we're playing the game to our utmost here. So single ace is very strong. Uh, he definitely has to be worried about that. Queen is very strong. He's definitely got to be worried about that. I ha almost have uh, an opportunity for chip out here, but I think just going for the ten throw makes the most sense, given what I know about his hand, uh, given what he knows about my hand and the rest of my deck. We definitely got very, very lucky with some combat reveals in the late game here. Yep, counter throw with the four, nicely done. Can't kill off of this, can put me to four though. Or five, yeah. Didn't have the eight. Yeah, drawing another throw. Again, I just need to confirm that he doesn't have a joker. Okay, he does have a joker. He's only got fives, two dodges, and a block, though. Uh, so he can he can attack me with a five if I go for the throw. But I think it's far more likely from this position that he goes for a uh, goes for a dodge or a block. So we're gonna mash this throw as hard as we possibly can. Pray he doesn't get brave. He doesn't get brave. He knows we've got the ace to follow this up, so a very high likelihood he's gonna play it here. That was the only block in his hand. Uh, so very high odds that he doesn't have blocks anymore. Goes for the power up on the aces, on the fives. Luckily we have known, we have known queen into known queen potentially. Uh, so we beat the ace ace. He was knocked down so unless he drew another block, um, he was dead to queen. Uh, he now does have a dodge though, so we do have to worry about that. Yeah, so there's one. He's got a 10 left. Okay, plays it as a, as a knockdown here. Um, that, can indicate that he has drawn another dodge because why would you spend it there if you haven't uh but the lowest risk play i can make is just to play the queen and uh, hope he doesn't have it all right yeah he has the joker he has the joker i forgot about that ah uh, he has the joker he knows i have ace ace So, yeah, this becomes tricky. <laughs> so if he has a throw and he thinks I'm unwilling to clash, he can just go for the throw and try to kill. Um, if he's willing, yeah, so he was willing to clash uh, double ace against single ace. And uh, I tried to go for the win. So in case he's got another joker, we're going to go knock him down. Yeah. So by the by the seat of our pants, uh, we managed to fly through that game. That was very very tense. Uh, made it a lot more difficult for myself uh, by just trying to randomly hit True Power of Storms there. Um, definitely feel like it could have been handled better if I had just played for throw into Ace a bunch. Okay, yeah, Uchula is gonna stick with Troc. <laughs> And I will go and re-random, we'll see what we get. Yeah, sticking with Troc, very good option. Very, very strong character against uh, an opponent who has to pick randomly amongst the rest of the cast. So, yes, no reason not to go for that. <laughs> 
yeah this this matchup can be this can, matchup can be difficult for truck um it depends a little bit on what happens in the first couple turns try to just beat big old mean opener just beat king or throw or anything like that cash out nine nine uh nine damage and again the the single ace is kind of an awkward thing to deal with in my hand anyway so i still don't have a way out i can't get out with uh with queen uh throw doesn't get me there either it's very awkward i think dodge is honestly yeah dodger queen seems reasonable we can toss yeah i guess we could toss the nines now and hang on to two cards so it's guaranteed that we get out on the next turn because no matter what we do we can dodge or throw Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, we don't have two undos, so I think that's still fine, given given what I've chosen here. Uh, at most, we'll take 16 damage, because he doesn't have any attached blocks. And uh, we're guaranteed to get out. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Yeah, unfortunately, playing that single ace first turn meant that I couldn't power up, empty power up the, uh, the nines. So I think... Most obvious play here is just to throw for Troc. So we'll go ahead and dodge. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the, the only that's the only play he could have made that um, prevented me from getting down to uh, to two cards. So he's already played two kings. It's very unlikely that he has the third king. So dodging here is fine. So if he normal throws, I just toss the king. Unfortunately, he's blocking now, so that's another combat reveal I wasn't counting on. <laughs> so now we can do queen into king for knockdown. So that works out nicely. <laughs> so we get knockdown, we get to uh, toss the seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that armor does not work on non special attacks. So king queen 10 is tempting or just king queen is is honestly fine. Yeah. Maybe the 2 would have been good just to get a dodge in there. So we do not find another 7, so we cannot loop here. Uh, but we have dump off of all combat options, including the normal attack. Don't have any counters for it, though. So it's a matter of if I'm, if I'm reading a, a block, just go for the throw here. Uh, if I'm reading any kind of aggressive option, just go for the queen. Okay, luckily he goes for the block. We get Jack into King Pump. And we retain the Queen. So he knows we've got a Queen. It's going to be difficult for us to dump off of throws on the next cycle. Uh, because we can't get rid of the Queen unless we draw a King. Yeah, it's going to be particularly difficult. Hence why we go for the throw, because it's known that... It's going to be very difficult to dump off the queen. Therefore, you should just play the queen. Therefore, throw. Cash out 20 damage. Not too bad. We're in the late game now. We can just play single ace if we're feeling uh, threatened at all. We just play queen. Cash out. I think single ace makes a lot of sense here. Okay, well, it worked out for us. Yep, 
yeah, I definitely take the knockdown. I was thinking about maybe holding on to the king, but uh, honestly, putting him at 13 is uh, just fine. We get a random assortment of cards. Including more single aces. So I'm thinking wake up uh, queen is very likely here. And we get it. So we'll seven throw into the king into knockdown. Or we can just do... Yeah, that's a bit of a mistake. Seven throw into, into knockdown king. Although I guess that retains... Yeah, that would have retained uh, the ace. We wouldn't have been able to get the ace out of there. So yeah, okay, that's fine in retrospect. Although, was that lethal? I don't think dodge into king pump pump was lethal. Oh, that's embarrassing. This is what, five and then three for each pump? Or something like that? So yeah, I definitely should have gone for throw. Uh, given that he's played so many queens already, uh, I feel all right not picking up a, a queen of my own. Oh, he's only played one queen. Never mind, that's also a mistake. Should have just gone for the classic uh, queen, seven, king. Because now we can get ourselves into trouble. So we're not a grappler, so we can't play a credible uh, dodge or throw based rest of this game. We can just spam single ace at him though, that's pretty good. We have the joker now, so we can play pretty attack heavy. Yeah, so that's exactly the kind of thing we could have uh, potentially played around if we had picked up the queen instead. So definite, definite misplays uh, in the late game here. So that's two queens down, again, making our single ace that much more likely to succeed uh we don't have lethal off of oh, actually we know we do have lethal off of throw now uh he knows we have a single ace so uh he knows it's not lethal if he walks into single ace uh, but he's still not willing to take that risk potentially have a joker here but don't really care we'll try for lethal yeah there we go <laughs> So we have known single ace and then a mystery card, actually two mystery cards on the draw. Powers up kings. For single ace, knocks us down. I think we're gonna get rid of the ace here. Ah, I think queen is probably fine to get rid of, yeah. So single ace only loses to queen. It ties against ace ace. And we've got gold burst. Potentially. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> it was at this point that I knew that I had fucked up. <laughs> so we're playing we're playing single cards against uh truck. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We get we get rescued from our own uh, our own nonsense. Four kings, three queens, two jacks in the discard, another war stomp. Uh, so the five or the six, yeah, seem both seem fine to get rid of. Uh, kings are all gone, so two attack is actually very good here. Uh, but given that he's got, he's powered up for single aces, I think blocking with the eight is actually the best move I've got. Uh, I do not want to get down to 17. I think it's very likely now that he's got me knocked down, I've got a lot of queens in the discard that he's going to go for the ace. Yeah. Hoping that I will get antsy and walk into that. So successfully block. draw another queen and uh, just go ahead and mash that queen the difficulty is a little bit that um, given that like I've if, if if just just based on my discard I should definitely play queen here 
But given that he has played almost all of his queens and all of his jacks, I think blocking is actually very likely for him because it's really his only his only response to me just spamming attacks at him. So good counter throw on his part. He's going to cash out 16 damage here. Takes me down to 22. Immediate power up for some more aces. So now feeling much more comfortable playing queen. Uh, his dodges are very high likelihood uh, to succeed. But again, I've got the joker, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. Even if he does dodge, I can uh, I can face down like a three, make him think I've got the Joker, and uh, conserve health that way. And even if he follows up, I'm still at two, which is essentially the same uh, as being at 22, so long as I have dominant speed attacks. We'll go ahead and cash out the Joker. Yeah, a little bit early. I think just playing the... Uh, although, yeah, I guess... If I bluff and I'm down to 14 and I no longer have queen to defend myself, uh, that can become pretty difficult. Uh, but luckily we snatch a dodge here or a block here. Uh, the preemptive GG. Yeah, no reason not to follow up with the king there. Just go for knockdown, try to go for more single ace now that yet more queens are gone since the last time. <clears throat> so we are we are up two games or three games. Or sorry, we have two or three wins. I can't remember. Uchula having to think about which one of us he wants to re-random. Okay, he's switching out of Troc. Going to play a random character against Setsuki. I think that is probably a mistake. Uh, but uh, I can't, can't argue with the fact that uh, Se um, Troc hasn't really been working out for him. Although it's been, it's been okay. I mean, it's come fairly close in most of the matches, so... Uh, I think just randomly playing a random character against Setsuki is uh, really rough. And we're going to see that in action right here. So queen into that three. Yeah, pump with the nine and the two into ace-ace for 30 damage. Nearly 50% of his health in the first combat. And uh, we've still got a queen. We used all of our combo points. So uh, there's not too much information about what card we held. Joker is somewhat likely. Uh, yeah, went for the dodge there. Hmm. Was it smarter to go for throw? The only thing I get off of throw is, yeah, throw doesn't really get us anything. So what I'm banking on is just drawing another throw. And if we don't, then we'll just go ahead and play the queen. If I get knocked down here, I have plays against uh, the king mix-up, so I'm not too uh, worried about playing into that we get big damage if this connects as well another 27 yeah went for the big anti throw play unfortunately for him i did not draw a throw i'm gonna go ahead and face down hanging on to the jack um i guess I mean, it's a good, it, it's faster than 2.2 speed. So uh, for that reason alone, it's all right. It's going to link some awkward normals if I draw them. 
might have been better to hold on to a uh, the two, but no, it turns out this is pretty good. Uh, throw into 5-6 jack or jack 5-6. It's pretty good here. Dodge into throw five. So I'm going for the for the hand dump here if he's got another attack that he wants to defend himself against. I've played two queens. Yeah, okay, it goes for the counter throw. Big damage off of this. We'll get rid of the nine. Uh, we should have got rid of the nine, I think. Again, we're going to draw something on our next turn. If we draw a throw, um, we're going to be stuck on this hand. Yeah, either way, we're going to be stuck on this hand now. So getting rid of the nine was actually crucial there because the two throws are what make this uh, such a difficult hand to, to deal with. The six attack and the four throw could indicate that he no longer has any uh, twos or threes. Luckily, that ends up working out for us. I'm going to face down again, but don't really care and don't want to hang on to the double sixes because uh, we would have to power up for single ace and that's going to make things awkward. So I'd much rather just go down to three cards. Yeah, oh, sorry. No, that was lethal. <laughs> God. Okay, yeah. Uh, Setsuki. Um, what the hell? This character is nonsense uh, when she's working properly. <laughs> um so yeah thanks for watching uh i really like this tournament uh playing playing games where you don't have to like the decision making at character select is just taken out of your hands and you're just thinking about what you're you know whether you want to re-random against a particular character or keep your character against a random member of the cast uh based on your experience being playing both against the other player and playing as whoever you're you're stuck on is a very interesting decision uh, so yeah, I really like this format of tournament. Uh, hopefully it's a lot of fun to watch. You do get to see a lot of matchups that you wouldn't ordinarily see. And you get to see a lot of mistakes that you would probably ordinarily not see. Uh, at least on other channels where people know how to play these characters. <laughs> so thanks for bearing with me. Hopefully, uh, if you found anything that you thought was a clear misplay, um, it could be good to play along like uh, to the games as they're as I'm describing them. Maybe you caught something that I didn't. It's a nice way of improving your own play. Uh, hopefully it's not too frustrating to follow along. All right, until next time, thank you for watching and enjoy yourselves some Yomi. Cheers.